Now the Cabinet of Ministers in Colombo met this week to discuss the 21st Amendment after it was not given the green light last week uh, to discuss what the present situation of passing the 21st Amendment into legislation. I've invited to our studios Justice Minister Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksa. A very warm welcome to you, Minister. I think we discussed the 21st Amendment initially when you took the initiative uh, saying it's towards political stability in Sri Lanka. But why is it taking so long after uh, all party leaders have expressed their support uh, to this amendment and yet cabinet does not seem to have approved it? Now, we have already presented this to the cabinet. Uh, even after we presented it that we wanted to have a series of dialogue with many stakeholders okay. and we had a series of dialogue with the main opposition then thereafter we met the we met all the leaders of the political parties which are being represented in the parliament. Then there are some other political parties who are not represented in the parliament that we discuss with them. Uh -huh. Then all the religious leaders and civil societies, then uh, professional associations the, like uh, by association of Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. that we we have been we have discussed with all those uh, parties, and now we have come to a certain understanding as to how the 21st amendment. Right. Now it goes as 22nd since uh -huh. the 21st has already been printed. Uh -huh. uh, as to how that we should form the best way to resolve the issues involved in this country. And uh, that is in the process. Minister, now last week we heard that uh, we've been talking about a clause that the president can in writing remove the prime minister at any given time. But last week after uh, the cabinet meeting, concerns were raised about uh, the 21st amendment which doesn't ensure this. What's the update on that? No, on that day, there was uh, one of the lengthy dialogue mm -hmm. discussion. The finally in considering the fact that the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna has the majority in the parliament right. and we'll have to get the consent of all the political parties virtually mm -hmm. in the parliament and thereafter we agreed on some uh, transitional provision that is that is an exception to the general clause mm -hmm. which permits the removal by the president during the tenure of this existing parliament mm -hmm. provided that he is of the opinion that the prime minister the person holding the office of prime minister has lost the confidence of the members mm -hmm. of the parliament right that is only an interim arrangement mm -hmm. during this period but thereafter it will continue as it was in the original draft. Uh, you've been conducting discussions, parties have been meeting, but do you observe a political will uh, among parliamentarians and parties to move towards this? No, <coughs> I am advocating for that political will. Uh, I am certain that as the, as the way that we did in the 19th Amendment, I think that we can get the support of all the parties. Uh, give us a brief on today's cabinet meeting, Minister, uh, how, how you all uh, discuss the 21st, uh, the 22nd amendment now. Yes, that we discuss it in the cabinet and in fact that uh, we wanted to go through in detail few points and we fix a meeting with the President on the, this Thursday mm -hmm. evening. After that uh, we agreed the bill to be taken up for consideration on uh, the cabinet in the cabinet meeting on Monday. Uh -huh. And uh, have you included all proposals by the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, the Samagijana Balavega, because they insisted that all these proposals be uh, included in the amendment? Yes, that is the only area where that there was a disagreement as to whether that the president shall retain the power. Uh -huh. right. And also the other issue was as to whether the president could hold any portfolio. Uh -huh. Uh, they are also, after the discussion, we came to an agreement the president will hold the uh, portfolio of defense because in terms of the constitution, we don't think that you can uh, delegate that power. Mm -hmm. uh, all those matters will be finalized on this Friday. Right. Sorry, Speak Thursday.
Thursday. Um, again, you've been talking about uh, the political stability that is envisaged through the amendment, but uh, is this the priority now given the country's situation? Do you think bringing in the 21st Amendment will steer the country towards solving the political and economic crisis that we're faced with? I know that uh, I discussed with uh, several diplomats, also with some of the international organizations. Mm -hmm. Although they are willing to support in different ways to Sri Lanka at a time like this, we are facing a, the most difficult period in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. But they insist on, from their point of view also, that there has to be a political stability. Uh, in, that is the second issue is even if we have to legitimately uh, enter into any kind of transaction with any of those organizations or state, mm -hmm. still they are concerned as to whether there is a political stability. Therefore, uh, we cannot deny the fact that unless there is a political stability, uh, the making the economic stability is, it will become a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, what is What do you understand in Parliament? We are talking about referendums, reforms. What do we see next in Sri Lanka? No, that we, we have drafted our bill in a way just to avoid any kind of uh, orders from the Supreme Court mm -hmm. to compel us to hold a referendum. Right. But finally that Supreme Court will have to decide any particular clause is uh, required the approval of the referendum or not. Uh, holding of a referendum is not possible because of this, uh, this political turmoil and uh, economic instability. But with all that we are hopeful after the enactment of the 20, we'll say that for the time being 22nd, but if it is enacted first, it will be the 21st. Uh, thereafter to go for a new constitution, uh, they are, of course, that you will have to go for a referendum mm -hmm. because, sorry, because the people need that, pe people are, uh, people demand that there has to be some radical change mm -hmm. uh, to abolish the executive presidency and to waste that power in the parliament. Thank you very much, Minister, for your time here. I know it's a very long and busy day for you, but thank you for sharing your thoughts on other than English.